In this lesson, we're going to talk about the ratio of areas of similar figures. We have two triangles in front of us, ABC and DEF. And we know that these are similar triangles because the ratio of each of their sides is the same, 3 to 4, 9 to 12, which is 3 to 4, 6 to 8, which is also 3 to 4. So the relationship of the ratio of triangle ABC side length to DEF side length is in a 3 to 4 ratio. Now, if I were to ask you what is the ratio of the areas, it might seem on the surface fair to assume that since the side lengths are in a ratio of 3 to 4, that the areas are also in a relationship of 3 to 4. But that's an incorrect way to think because, well, that's an incorrect assumption, because while the length is in units, the area is in units squared. So we're multiplying two values together to find out the area of a figure. And to find out the length, we just have one unit, uh, which we're equating. So when you figure out the area of similar figures, then you need to take the square of the relationships of the side lengths. So in this case, the ratio of the areas is going to be 9 to 16. So let's apply this concept to a couple problems. In the first problem, the book is asking us to compare uh, WYZ to XYZ. So we have WYZ to XYZ. And you can see in this, these two triangles, they both have the same base and they both have the same height. So the areas are going to be the same. And the next problem, we have uh, in B, we have WXZ, WXZ to WXY. And again, we have the same base area and the same height. So these, both A and B, have a relationship of areas of 1 to 1. In problems C and D, and C we're asked to compare WPZ to XPY. Well, recall before that we just equated the areas of WXZ, so this entire area here, to WYX because they had the same base and the same height. Well, essentially, if we have two uh, areas of two different triangles, triangles that are congruent, and we subtract the same amount from both triangles, then we're left with a remainder that's equal to each other. So WPZ and XPY are in a one-to-one -one relationship. Then the book asks us to compare WPX to ZPY. Now we have an interesting relationship. So we recall that this is a trapezoid, so these uh, the bases are parallel, and so we know that these angles are congruent to each other, uh, and also that the vertical angles are congruent. So we have two similar triangles, and we can see the relationship of the side lengths is going to be 3 to 4, 12 to 16. So by our equation, the ratio of the areas is going to be 9, this should be for this problem here, 9 to 16. And in the final problem, the book asks us to compare WPX to XPY. Now this is an interesting problem. First we see that WPX and XPY have the same height. So we have this triangle WXY and the height is about roughly that length. So both of these triangles have the same height. Now they have different uh, bases. The base for WPX is going to be WP. The base for XPY is going to be PY. Well, in the, prior, in the prior question on D, we learned that this triangle here 
has a relationship of side lengths. These two are similar triangles. This triangle here and this triangle here, ZPY and WPX are similar triangles. And that the relationship of their side lengths is in a relationship of three to four. So I can say then that WP to PY is in a relationship of three to four. Now, if the height is the same, but the bases are different, then the relationship of the areas is just going to be three to four. So let's think about this. Let's just say, for the sake of this problem, that the height is going to be five. In this triangle here, we have a, an area of one half four times five, which is equal to 10. And in this relationship here, this triangle, we have an area of one half of three times five, which is 7.5. So the relationship of this triangle here is seven and a half to 10, which is the same as three to four.